Good morning, friends. It is Monday, October 10th at 6, what was it, 6.30 in the morning. I was currently lounging and enjoying this sunset. I'm sorry, sunrise. Not awake yet is a little bit chilly. I'm not going to lie. Like, I was so cold last night, but... Um, temperatures here dropped down into the 30s, I think. So I had to turn on the heat a couple times just to um, keep warm. But watching the sunrise go up over the mountain is amazing. There's my sunrise. Don't know if you guys can see, but over here... Right in here, oops, right in the gas station here, you can see a mountain right here. <laughs> I'm trying to get this light out of my face. <laughs> so if you ever need an alarm clock, just park in front of where you know the sun rise is going to be, even though I didn't know. Anyway, I, I was not awake yet, if you couldn't tell. Um, so I'm probably going to go inside, go potty, get some coffee, and come back, because no talkie, no coffee, no talkie. Hey guys, good morning from Williams, Arizona. You can see behind me there's all these lovely cars. I had a lot of friends sleep overnight in the parking lot with me, so it was very noisy, got little sleep, but that's okay. Um, I woke up with the sunset, obviously, or I'm sorry, I keep saying sunset, sunrise, and uh, check out we gorgeous mountain. Arizona, you've been so good to me. Super stoked to go to the Grand Canyon today. Um, I had breakfast. I got myself fresh up and dressed, put some long pants on because I have a feeling it's going to be a little bit chilly. Um, which I'm surprised I'm saying that because I'm in Arizona, but whatever. I'm from Wisconsin. Nothing's cold, but the sun is obviously beating down. I looked up some tour stuff and it was really cool. They had like a Polar Express tour in Williams, Arizona. Not necessarily affiliated with the Grand Canyon, but they, in the winter months, November and December, the kids and you or your family, I would go by myself, to be honest. Um, I'll do it. I do everything by myself. So I'm trying to think of you guys and your families too, but I'm out here solo in the world, you know? <laughs> But they had a really cute Polar Express tour, so you can hop on a train for like an hour, hour and a half and go through the Grand Canyon on this train tour, and it was pretty affordable. I looked up if I could go do it sometime today, but um, I couldn't. I did look up another train tour. Would love to do a train tour, but unfortunately, it's not until 4.30 tonight. So I plan on being in California tonight. Um, so yeah. I am dressed, refreshed, my belly is full, so we're going to hop in the car. I'm going to talk about the miles that I drove yesterday, maybe fill up on some gas, and we're going to get headed to the Grand Canyon. It's about an hour from here, so i um, not sure what time it is because I can't see the sun is blinding me with all of its warmth, but I'll keep you guys posted, so. Hey, it's 8.48 in the morning. Um... I'm gonna I think I'm gonna fill up because I'm just gonna come right back down here. Miles were at 1778. So I'm not gonna fill up on gas because I feel like I'm good. I'm gonna drive for an hour, go up to the canyon, and then come back down here, probably fill up. I think that's my master plan. And then head to California later tonight because I do not want to hit LA traffic. No ma'am. So yeah, I don't know how to feel. I feel like kind of nostalgic, if that's a thing. I mean, I don't know. I I guess I'm kind of s scared to go to the Grand Canyon. But I'm so s excited. <laughs> I'm, I guess I'm afraid I'm never going to want to leave. But anyway, I have to get on this road, you guys. Like, I have to just do it. Why am I scared to go to the Grand Canyon? What is... Mel, Mel, what is going on with you? <laughs> so, we 
are currently driving on this road. It's the historic Route 66 road. It goes straight up to the Grand Canyon. The sign, the sign we just passed said it was 58 miles or 68 miles. I'm not really sure. But it's so pretty, this drive. So we're just going to keep driving and driving. Uh, guesstimate time is about an hour to get there. So, yeah. Enjoy the view. I am on 64 North. Uh, just so you guys know, there is a West Rim, a North Rim, and a South Rim of the Grand Canyon. Um, the West Rim is pretty much like all amenities and entertainment. So you have, it's like more of a scheduled kind of situation from my readings. I'm not really sure. Um, the South Rim is more populated and the North Rim um, is quite similar. The only difference is, I guess, the weather change. But if I'm wrong, please correct me or leave it in the comments. Your experiences with the Grand Canyon, just so we can teach each other and educate each other. Um, I am going up to South Rim because it was just convenient to go um, from Williams to the Grand Canyon. But um, I think the north is, um, I'm not sure what is on the north part, um, but I believe Las Vegas is closer to the west side. I'm not really sure, don't quote me on that, but definitely do your research when you're trying to visit the Grand Canyon so you can find all these amazing, amazing things to do there. There is a lot of things to do there. I wish I would have planned it out better, but I didn't, and um, I'm just going to wing it. So, my experience with the Grand Canyon is going, look at all these people coming out. <laughs> How amazing. I don't know if they're leaving or driving. I don't think you can drive through, but maybe they went early this morning and checked out the sunset. So, just lots of hills and windy roads so far curious to see what an hour into it brings. We are almost at the entrance gate. I stopped to use the bathroom, you guys. If you're going to the Grand Canyon, um, fill up ahead of time because it was $5.89 for gas in this area. Grand Canyon entrance station, one mile ahead, that sign said. Woo woo! We are one mile away, y'all. So excited. Look at these trees. That looks like little Smokey, Bear, Smokey the Bear. <laughs> Only you can prevent forest fires. <laughs> are you guys as excited as I am? Like, I don't even know how to feel right now. Oh, they have a horseback riding trail. Are you kidding me? <sighs> they have everything here. So it looks like we're going to have, you guys can see a total backup of lanes. So I think everybody's trying to get in and pay for parking or pay. Um, it is $35 to get into the park as of today. So yeah, look at this car, just terrain in it. Do you see him? That's pretty ballsy if you ask me. I don't know about that, but I wouldn't want to waste what is the date today? I think they said it was the 10th. Yeah, so October 10th, 2022. Um, the cost to get it into the south rim of the Grand Canyon is $35 per car. I'm not sure about anything else. You can go on their website and look it up. So we're going to be sitting here for a hot tea tati minute. And then we're going to be inside. Ah! Almost there. We've been sitting for maybe about 15 minutes, which is, isn't too bad. Maybe another 15 minutes more, and then we get to enter the park. Well, I'll post a screenshot, but if you guys are ever interested in coming to the Grand Canyon, it's $35 for the day. A motorcycle is $30. Bucks. Uh, if you're running a bicycle, it's $20. If you have a season pass, it's $70 for the year. A senior pass is $80 for a lifetime for seniors, and um, for the year, it's $20. And if you're active military, you can get to the Grand Canyon for free. Um, I will post a screenshot of the sign. We are roaming free in the Grand Canyon Park, y'all. I don't know where I'm going. It says Visitor Center. I do have a map. 
we're going to get our lights together. This is the road to the promised land, so to speak, aka Grand Canyon. The guy was really nice. He asked me if I was a Badgers fan because I told him I was from Wisconsin. And I was like, well, I'm originally from Chicago, so I'm going to break your heart all kinds of ways. <laughs> but anywho, look at this little cute little drive. Is this the drive to destiny? I don't know, you guys. Guys, okay, so I'm not really sure how this works, but they do, do give you a map, and then it shows you every single, like trail and situation that you can stop at and overlook so I'm just going to bring a pen with me and just kind of mark everything off that we do just so we don't miss anything but it looks like there's just a bunch of points that are trails and then you can hop in your car and go to different ones not really sure we're going to figure this out together they do give you two booklets I highly recommend bringing a jacket sunglasses definitely some sort of drink I have my purse backpack. I also, you guys know, I love my fanny pack. Um, and I'm probably going to bring um, a little water with me too. So be prepared. Um, put on your walking shoes. I had my Crocs on, but now I have my walking shoes on. Because you're going to do a lot of walking. Or getting in your car. We'll figure it out together. But we're here. Um, we are in Swallowtail parking lot number three, okay? Parking lot Swallowtail number three. Lord have mercy. Oh, let me, so I remember. Swallowtail parking lot number three, y'all. <laughs> so when we go back here, and I can't find the car. You know, I'm old. <laughs> All right, let's get out the car. Let me get everything on and situated. And let's go. Let's be Dora together and go explore. You're my boot and I'm Dora. <laughs> you see, we have little friends. It's a little bug. I want to take him home with me. He's so cute. So here's our current situation, y'all. Remember I said... Parking shallow tail three. Okay, we're here and I don't know where we're going, <laughs> but we'll figure it out. I am gonna be a walking machine today. Let's hope my knee doesn't bother me because I'm all trail, you just walk. And I think we're going to the visitor. Not sure what we're going to see, but I left my jacket in the car because it is hot. There's places, places to sit down. Just walk in. So we can either go to the visitor center or the canyon rim. I'm thinking we're just going to go check out the visitor center to see if it's anything, you know, necessary. I mean, I already have a map. I'm already Dora. We'll see. <laughs> Here's the map. You can see how massive it is. It says we are here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Can you see it? How massive. I'm supposed to do this whole thing. But we're here. Right here. That looks intimidating. <laughs> so I'm kind of excited. If you're lost like I am, they actually had right behind me, which I'm not trying to be my people. Um, they had different things that you could do, like if it's your first time here, um, if you only have one to two hours, if you have half a day if you have a full day um, they actually have recommendations of what you can do what I didn't know as well is that you can take um, shuttle buses to different areas so you don't have to walk as much with hello sign me up because your girl's a hot mess I have a bad knee 
and buses um, you can take and you don't have to waste your own gas so sounds like my cup of tea look at how ridiculously massive that is we're gonna go back outside and maybe start walking to the first recommended thing that is that we walk to Mather Point and it's a five minute walk. I can do five minutes. I'm okay with that. So let's go for a five minute walk. Tip, if you guys are totally introverted like I am, um, I literally have earbuds in my ears because people. Just walking away. I see something in the distance. My heart's beating faster and faster. Whoa. fucking real. I'm sitting here listening to classic music and my sh my Spotify just you guys have to turn on classical music and just turn out the world. And god. Isn't this ridiculous? <laughs> this just doesn't do it any justice. And my people who are empaths out there, when you feel Mother Nature, it's very, very, very power. I have no words. I highly recommend bringing some music with you and turning out everybody walking by and taking pictures and just getting in the way because it'll ruin it for you. Let me tell you. Be in your own space with your own head. Ridiculous. I'm sitting over the edge with my feet hanging <laughs> off. <laughs> Just living my best life. This view is incredible. If you guys have never been to the Grand Canyon, bucket list check for real. Don't wait. Um, when I first got here, I was overwhelmed because I seriously think I'm an empath, you guys. Like, I feel Mother Nature and it's crazy in this just different crazy way. And I think about my life two months ago, a month ago, five days ago, and all that I'm doing. And it's bananas. And this is <laughs> worth everything right here. I can't get enough. 
I can't leave. <laughs> I just wanted to let you guys know, too, that I'm having a panic attack right now because I'm afraid of heights. <laughs> know that I'm literally sitting on a cliff um, I'm petrified right now <laughs> but I wanted to show you this view because damn got all of these layers here it just goes in this goes down and then over here I don't know if you can see it it's like a thing. It's a long way down. <laughs> Moved along the trail a little bit and I wanted to share with you guys my view. It's breathtaking. I would stand right here on this cliff but I found out today I had <laughs> I'm afraid of heights <laughs> didn't think I was but if you guys are ever wondering there's guardrails so you can just stand and overlook um, you can look down I am not doing it but I'll hold my camera up and there you go are all the rock formations. Enjoy myself. <laughs> Let's go outside. You guys are not ready for this view. Ready? Are you ready? Look at. I'm so sorry. I'm so disappointing. <laughs> I'm disappointing you guys with these views for real. Let me know in the comments below what you guys are thinking about today. Like, this is just so surreal for me. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's everything. If you have ever been, let me know. Um, 
I think one day here is probably not enough time to enjoy every single thing, but at some point I have to go leave and go to California tonight, so <laughs> maybe I'll go back to Williams and just enjoy my entire day here and head to Cali tomorrow because I, I don't want to leave. <laughs> Those of you guys who have been here understand. Did you know that the Grand Canyon is six million years old? That side's two million. Wow. And then it says, touch a river polished rock. Well, it's right here. If I touch it, is it gonna make all of my rivers? flow abundantly total craziness total craziness look at this trail Dora ain't got nothing on me today y'all I swear you guys we started here and I went all the way over here to here so. well you guys I'm exhausted <laughs> um, I'm ready for bed I haven't eaten anything so I think I'm gonna head back to Williams and get some food and then I don't know but it's the sun's gonna set here. It's 420. We got like two hours before the sun sets. Hmm. I'm exhausted. My legs are killing me. <laughs> and they're so swollen. But I'm not old and senile because look you guys. I made my way back to the right parking lot. So we gotta find Katie B. He's somewhere. See? I found a friend. Hi, Crow. Cool, 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 cool. I see you. You gonna talk to me? No, don't come by me. I don't have any food. Ooh. Where are you going? You said, I'm out of here. You don't got any food. We officially have left the Grand Canyon, you guys. Definitely have to come back here and take advantage of all of the amenities that they have. Certainly fulfilling. And it is a once in a lifetime thing. You have to do it. My bucket list, list is checked. <laughs> I cried, I reflected my journey this two months, we'll say, these last five days. You know, you always have to go through hell. <laughs> you really do. It's, well, I do anyway. I mean, I wouldn't have my life any other way. Nothing is handed to me easy and raw, but all of my sacrifice and struggle, it's always something worth it. 
and this right here. I drove all the way across the country to see the Grand Canyon. And now I get to stay in California. It still baffles my brain. It really does. I can't say how many times I'm grateful and just humbled by it. I don't know if that's a moose or what. What kind of animals are at the Grand Canyon with these antlers? They got the mooses? Maybe a moose like the Polar Express? <sighs> Bittersweet, you guys. Can you see that I got sunburn? Always bring your sunscreen. I didn't even know. This Arizona heat is no joke. <laughs> Hot, the sun is no joke. But I'm gonna go drive. We're at 1848 for miles. There is no traffic. I'm hoping there's going to be no traffic going on 40. And then I can just book to, I forget what town it is. I just know it was a two and a half hour drive, which I can easily knock out. Because when you speed, you guys, on the highway and there's nobody on it, like you just... There's no traffic, there's nothing slowing you down, and you get there so fast. Safely, obviously. Guys, it's currently 8.10 here. Um, I drove to Kingsman, Arizona. I think that's where I am. Um, currently filling up for gas. I'm going to spend the night here. I'm going to eat, drink, pee. Oh my God, it's been a long day, long, great day. So yeah, let me get situated and I'll show you how much I pay for gas. Gas out here is 439 and I filled up for $50 at 11 gallons. Going up and up and up. You can tell we're getting closer to California. Hey guys, so it's time for bed. I got to go potty, I got to eat gas tank is full for full for tomorrow I'm exhausted in a good way today was just overpowering and incredible such an incredible experience if you guys have not gone to the Grand Canyon please go especially if you feel like you're connected with mother nature like um, I just I was talking to my friend and we connect on a level and the amount of people that just walked by and snapped a picture and then kept walking, snapped a picture, kept walking, snapped a picture, like I don't connect with those people. <laughs> I don't understand why you would go to the Grand Canyon and just walk and take a picture and keep walking. But I'm not judging though. I didn't feel that way. That wasn't my connection so yeah I am curious to see what other places in the world could possibly make me feel like that so if you have any suggestions you need to drop that in the comments my people that get the Grand Canyon that have been messaging me telling me I get it I felt it so thank you <laughs> Tomorrow is California. I, it's bittersweet because now my road trip's gonna end. I want more road trips, but there's so much to do and there's so much to explore. So I'm so excited about that. I have six hours left, you guys. Six hours left. That is crazy. So I'm so excited. I am going to bed. I will see you guys bright and early in the morning. Make sure you love, hit that like button right here on YouTube. Subscribe if you love watching me and hanging out with me and you're following my journey. And if you just want me my best friend. <laughs> well, you don't have to be my best friend, but just saying. Okay. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night, guys. I forgot one more thing.
I drove in the dark on the way here, so I have no idea what my view is going to look like tomorrow. This is my view in front of me. <laughs> Behind me, God only knows, but when I was driving here, I could see all of the mountains. I know I was going through the mountains even though it's pitch black. So I'm so excited to share with you guys tomorrow what our view is going to look like. If we're surrounded by mountains, I'm going to flip. But yeah, we'll, we'll find out.